Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mizuma channel. Today we're gonna have a sort of special video uh, and that's just because this project became really really big. Uh, I started it a few days ago and I started adding more and more features and this is a most rules as you know. <laughs> but most of the things are pretty cool I think. I, I like all of them to be honest. Uh, and I really hope that you guys enjoy the ride with me, so okay, let's start. You might have noticed that this thing looks very much like a computer, and that is the idea. But it doesn't do a lot of computation, it's more like a big toy, you know, a display that we can interact and do some stuff. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to use the navigation buttons that I added down here so that we can have our first impression and there we go <laughs> it just rendered a face okay whenever I deal with display things like that I, I can't help myself and I always add a smiley face but that's not all inside the system uh, we will use the navigation buttons to access a bunch of apps I'm calling those things the application so we will access a bunch of individual apps and we can interact uh, with the apps by clicking uh, in the middle button here so for this application, it's a really simple one just to just to get things going. You know, uh, it has the faces, and in the future, I I want to hook this these faces up to other things like mini games, for example. So uh, if you beat uh, the computer, he's going to be sad about the situation because he's just this kind of person. He can't see uh, anyone else's ha happiness, and. Uh, if he beats you, he is probably going to have the smug face. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next one. And I think it's a game. Okay, yes, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool game. So uh, the idea here is basically you ask uh, questions to the computer and it will answer you with uh, yes or no quests, yes or no answers. So, okay, let's try something here. Uh, dear computer, uh, would you like to have legs? <laughs> I, I really don't have good questions, guys. I'm sorry. And no, okay. Apparently, he is pretty much uh, very well satisfied in being just a big screen. Okay. Uh, do you do you think you can fly? Let's see if this guy is really smart. Okay, okay. You can see that even if the, the answer is repeated, it tries to render again uh, everything in, on, this, on screen so that we know that uh, actions are being taken. So yeah, you can keep asking the computer uh, the questions and have fun. Probably you have better questions than I do, so... <laughs> oh, it, it, it's a yes. So you, you were becoming a funny guy. The next one's pretty cool as well. So let's check this out. So yeah, you can see that something opened down there and we have this kind of diagram here. And uh, what this does is it will actually measure uh, how much of the storage is full. So yeah, I don't know what you call it. This is a kind of meter. It looks like a battery meter to me because that was my idea. So <laughs> yeah, if you take things out of the chest, uh, it will tell. Uh, let's try to take more stuff out of the chest. I programmed it so that it goes uh, all the way down, but only if uh, you completely empty the, the storage, Other, otherwise it will uh, always display uh, some bars. Only three bars, but <laughs> I guess it's enough. And of course, I, I plan on using this uh, to monitor uh, remote storage. For example, I could um, have my base somewhere and monitor the spawn chunks to see how much storage we have in the iron farm since it's not uh, going to stop producing ever, which should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and we can move on to the next one and this thing will automatically close and we will have a new shape here. So yeah, this one is really nice as well. It's a toy and it's a dice. So uh, we have a four here. It's, uh, it's supposed to represent one of the six sided dices and we can uh, re-roll the dices uh, when, when we click the button. I also uh, made sure to add some animation to this. So yeah, it just does, it, it, it won't just change the number here. You will see uh, some, some stuff uh, happening on the screen so you can 
have your expectations because I I wanted this to be a sort of a game really. Well, I think that's that's what dices are supposed to <laughs> to be used for. But anyways, uh, maybe some you can you can do some bets uh, with your friends. Sometimes it can, it can take a real long time to uh, to get you a new number. It keeps rolling and rolling. Uh, but this time we're not uh, as lucky to see all the animations. But but that's basically it. You have a dice included in the system, and you can use that to do your bets. All right, let's check out the next one. And yes, guys, I told you I added a lot of functionality to the system. <laughs> and yeah, I really love this application. So this uh, is the weather report application. And this bar here is supposed to be just a landscape and it's showing the sun because it's daytime now. But if we we change this, so time set, let's say 14, uh, it will, uh, the daylight sensor will detect it and the system, the system is trying to process the information. And now it's, it knows that it's night time, uh, but that's not all. It's the weather report uh, system as well. So if it's raining, it takes a while, but there is a detector that I created and it will actually display and tell us that it is raining. So if you live underground and you have the, this monitoring, this computer system here, it will take ages, but it will eventually display the little cloud with the water drops here. So it knows that it's raining. And it was kind of a challenge uh, actually because my rain detection system uh, stopped working in Minecraft 1.11 and I don't even know why. And uh, I looked for some designs on YouTube and I couldn't find anything that worked uh, during the night. But my system works during the night and it's quite cool. Uh, so let's maybe go back to daytime so you can see all the possibilities here. So now the system will detect uh, that it's daytime, but it's still raining. And finally, if we do a weather clear, it will uh, go back to its initial state. But I, I, I think it's uh, it takes longer for the system to detect that uh, it stopped raining than the amount of time it takes for the system to detect that uh, it started raining. So yes, I guess we just have to wait for a couple of seconds and then you guys will know what I'm talking about. And there we go. The system knows that it's daytime and it's not raining. So this is pretty cool, huh? Okay, and now for the last, but definitely not least uh, application uh, inside this computer thing. So can you guess what this shape is? <laughs> Uh, I can't guess either, <laughs> but I'll, I'll just press the button and you guys can, can take your conclusions. I don't even know what to say about this one. It takes a while because it's really far down in the system. I will show you guys the redstone so you'll understand it. Okay, so what this thing does is uh, it it's scrolls the, the, the shape that is drawn currently sideways. Uh, but it also creates random patterns here. I tried to tweak uh, the probability so that it would create more organic shapes and things would not be so, so random. It would make things that actually make sense. So when I created this for the first time, I kind of got fascinated because I am the kind of person who, who looks at the clouds and tries to figure out what kind of shape uh, the clouds have. So. It gives me this kind of feeling when I look at the screen here. I can pause uh, the animation uh, at any time. As always, it will take some time because uh, I'm not using any sort of um, resource like uh, instant repeaters here, for example. I'm just using anything that doesn't emit sounds. So I'm trying to avoid using pistons. I only use it pistons whenever it was strictly necessary because uh, redstone computers, uh, yeah, have kind of a problem with the pistons, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, it works generating things. Oh, it definitely looks like a duck. <laughs> I don't know. I probably should do a special uh, time lapse video of uh, this being displayed for one hour or so. I think it would become very popular on my channel. <laughs> what do you guys think?
<laughs> oh man, but I really like this. I didn't think it was able to handle uh, any kind of animations really, but apparently it can. Uh, and that's good because uh, maybe in the future I can do something that makes a little more sense than the, the random generation of blocks here. But uh, I can also, uh, as mentioned, pause those thi this thing and go back to the previous uh, app that I had. So I can basically navigate the way I want uh, with the system here. And now we have the, the weather report application again. And if we hit the button again, we will get to the previous one, which I don't really remember what it is. Oh, it's a, it's the dice. So maybe you can try to roll for a six. Let's do the bats, guys. So looks like a five, a four, a three, a whatever. Oh, it's a five. Yeah. <laughs> is, is it a five? Yes. And yeah, guys, so maybe it's time for us to have a look at the redstone and let's go. See that face? He's happy. He's happy now. <laughs> and here is the redstone, guys. Here is all that this system needs to work. So I don't know, in terms of computers and such, I think that the system has a pretty uh, decent size. So yeah, in this, in this video, I am going to focus on presenting, uh, yeah, whatever the system does. And I will, not, I will not focus on the specifics, but if you guys really want it, I, uh, I might do a video uh, where I explain each individual part here and how everything works and how I came up with the solutions for the, the problems that we have um, uh, with systems like that. So roughly, the giant uh, gray thing that you see here is the ROM. So it basically stores uh, all the images. Uh, don't have, I, I, I don't know, I'll try not to, to get into the details, but yeah, this is the ROM. This is where uh, most of the images are stored. The, this green circuit is just a detector. So basically it transforms a single line like this into a two by two pixel for uh, the panel here. Um, the yellow circuit here uh, displays the faces. So yeah, it displays this, this little guy here. Blue circuit is the yes and no game. Uh, pink circuit takes care of the storage. And here are the pistons that open the storage. Uh, the green circuit controls the dice. Uh, Cyan is, uh, uses the daylight sensor here and displays the day and night thing. And uh, this one, uh, guess why I'm using solid blocks here and not wool? <laughs> yeah, this one is the rain detection system. So you guys can have a look at that if you want. Yeah, it's basically the, 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 uh, the core blocks are very much flammable. So we detect it and we update something that uh, tells that tells the system that it's not raining. Um, and the orange circuit is the RAM. So this is where I generate uh, the images and I propagate the images through all those comparators uh, to the panel so we can watch the animations and everything happens inside this area here. And it's really cool because I have never done anything like that, but I created some, some things that are a little bit different from uh, what I've seen out there. The black circuit is the the application selector, so it's it's kind of a mess down here. I don't I don't particularly like the wiring down down here, and the brown circuit is the interaction button. Here we have the selection panel that goes back and forth with the navigation and all that kind of stuff. So I had to come up with so many different components for this thing. And uh, once again, I tried to do everything without uh, using pistons, which makes things a little bit more difficult in my opinion. Uh, but I had so, so much fun. <laughs> really, this project uh, was really amazing. And uh, honestly, I will be happy to, to comment more uh, about everything inside here if you guys are indeed interested. And uh, in my opinion, nowadays, I don't think that making uh, a project like this uh, is, is something that 
that you should you should not consider. I, I, I'm complicating things here the way to say that, but you should really consider having a more advanced system like this because it makes your game really fun. And actually, this is something that I'm planning on building in my survival world. Maybe not as big as this because I think that this has more than ten thousand blocks or something. I haven't I haven't checked. I just estimate. But I, I want to have something like this, a system that helps me monitor the things and then I can just navigate through the options and do cool stuff, you know? <laughs> but yeah, guys, this, that was a lot of effort, but I had a lot of fun. Uh, give me some feedback in the comments section. You can see a lot, of, a lot of glowstone here. I'm trying to do everything I can to reduce lag from a giant machine like this. But I really, really hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope this is something different, something that you won't see everywhere or every day, at least. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty happy, as you guys can see. So, I'm going to finish this video here. And thank you very, very much for watching once again, guys. See you later. Bye.